Hi everybody, this is Matt here with another video and today we're going to show you how to download Blender and install the Trackmania plugin for Blender. So the first thing you need to do is go to blender.org and click on download Blender. We'll have a link in the description to this as well. Go ahead and click download Blender 3.0. Uh, it's And I already downloaded it so we can go ahead and once it's finished downloading, run the installer. We can use all the default settings here. So we'll go ahead and accept the license terms and agreements and just click through these menus and click install. So this will uh, install Blender and I, I had to click okay to the, uh, the admin pop-up there. So once it's installed, then we'll install the plugin. Okay, perfect. So we completed Blender, uh, in the Blender installation. So the next step then is to go to uh, github.com and there's a user, his name is skyslide22 and he created a really amazing add-on for Blender, which will let us export the Blender objects as the, the GPX files that are needed to import into Trackmania. So go to this link in the description as well and click on code and then download zip. And this will download the latest version of the plugin. And we'll just keep it in our downloads folder for now. The next step then is to start up Blender. And once it loads, we'll be able to go ahead and install this plugin. So let me get it visible on the portion of the screen that I'm sharing. Okay, perfect. So we'll go to um, edit and then preferences. And on the left-hand side here, click on add-ons, then click on install. And we're going to go to our downloads and select the Blender add-on zip file that we just installed and click on install add-on. And we should get a message down here at the bottom saying that it was installed. The next step then is to enable the plugin. So if you search uh, for uh, like track in the search here, you'll see that we've installed the plugin, but it hasn't been enabled yet. So we have to click this little checkbox and that will enable the plugin. So the next step then, uh, just to kind of show you how the plugin works, if you click on view and then sidebar, you can also get there with the shift N for the shortcut. This will open our little sidebar here and make sure you're in object mode um, or you might not see this. Then you'll see the Trackmania add-on has been added here on the side. And to configure it, um, we're going to go ahead and change the author name. So whenever you create an, auth an item, you'll want your author name there. We can select the game here as well, which is gonna be Trackmania 2020. And then we need to pick an INI file the auto find never seems to find it for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, type in um, SQL and program files, and then Epic Games, Trackmania Next, and select the nadeo.ini. I'll put a, th this in the description as well, and go ahead and accept that. So we have our INI file. Next up, let's go ahead and click the update Nadeo importer. Um, this is an EXE that Nadeo has uh, created, which kind of configures the, the custom items. And the next thing we also want to do is install Stadium Texture. So go ahead and, and click that as well. So this is all the configuration steps that we need. Um, and we'll actually be able to like select custom textures and, and stuff for an item. So um, just to demonstrate how to export an item, First, we, so we have a cube here. Let's go ahead and select the material creation slash update. And I'm gonna name this um, purple rock. So we're gonna, gonna make like some kind of uh, purple rock um, like texture. So in here we should be able to select the custom rock texture and we'll go ahead and make it purple and we'll create a purple rock texture and it's gonna have the, um, the default physics. And then to apply that texture to our cube, we can 
select the cube up here on the collection menu, click on the materials, which is this little circle, and we can click this drop down here and select our purple rock. And that's gonna make um, that texture applied to this cube. So next step is to save it. So I'll go ahead, click save. Um, let's save our purple rock. Purple rock dot blend. And we can go ahead and expand the export menu. So we're just going to select the cube. So make sure the cube is selected here. Click on export. Export was successful. So um, we did a quick test. Everything is installed correctly. And now we can start making um, better and cooler items and, and actually importing them into Trackmania. So thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully this was helpful on how to get that add-on installed into Blender. And I guess we're all ready to, to start learning Blender and figuring out what we can do with it and, and make some cool custom items for Trackmania. So thanks everybody for watching and have a great rest of your day.